Hi, hello people. So today we're gonna do a favourites video and it's not gonna be all beauty stuff, trust me. First thing on my favourites is this. Um, I don't know whether you can see it. Is it more out of focus? I don't know. It's Burt's Bees uh, lip balm. I nearly said lip gloss. This one's vitamin E and pepper bit. My lips have improved since using it. Like, my lips weren't bad. My lips weren't like really super bad, but they, you know, They've got a little better, so there we go. Next thing, staying on the lip theme. Also, what I've got on my lips today. So I got the Sleek Matte Me Lip Gloss. And this is in the colour Rioja Red 433. It's so matte. It's like, and it's hardly any transfer compared to lipstick, which, you know, ladies, transfer is a pain in the ass. Put your lips together like this. Sha la 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 la, oh my my, look like the boy too shy and wanna kiss the girl. Wow wow. I bought this in America and it's hashtag well good. It's the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray and I don't think we can get it in this country. Well, I've never seen Aussie hairspray. Which brings me to my point of UK step it fucking up because this is such a good hairspray. You don't have to use as much as you do with like the other hairsprays I use. So I usually use the Garnier Fructis hairspray, I think. I, having wavy hair, have to deal with wisps and all that wispy hair and it just puts it down instantly. But, don't know whether you can hear, there's still quite a bit left in it. I got this on literally the day we landed, so the 28th of October, and I started using it from the 29th of October, and it's now December. So that shows you how little you have to use, um, because my mum started using this when we got back off holiday as well. So that's just a little, it lasts a lot longer. If I'd have used Garnier Fructis, it would have run out within probably two weeks. Continuing with the hair theme. This. So I bleached my hair again, and as you can see, it's really good. There's a tiny kind of tinge of yellow here. But apart from that, it's like platinum-y blonde. And that's thanks to Bleach London. Salon Standard Bleach lightens hair up to seven levels for absolute platinum blonde shades. And it is incredible. It has like this re reincarnation mask for like uh, dyed hair. And I can't be bothered to use it because it's like you have to do it on dry hair and you know have to do a spiritual sacrifice and stuff to use it and ain't nobody got time for that but it does kind of dry your hair out a little bit more than i think than other bleaches i've used it's very very good and it's quite easy to get your hair back to its normal like standard <laughs> we'll get all the you know beauty shit out of the way is that better? I'm a bit, I'm a bit lighter. Sorry for anybody who doesn't like the continuity. You light up my world like nobody else. Scandal Eyes Precision Micro Eyeliner by Rimmel London. It's like a felt tip. I very much like having eyeliner on my, like, on my lid. I just like having it like that because I'm so seen, kid. I really like this and it's like a felt tip so it makes it dead easy and even an idiot can do it. Me. I can do it. I've never been able to master the skill of liquid eyeliner. Like, I'm like, I basically painted when I use liquid eyeliner my whole eyelid and then just kind of took off the stuff to make it look like I didn't know what I'm doing. I did it. This is in the colour of black, like my soul. The next stuff is Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel by Rimmel London. I got it in the colour clear because I've got the Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil. So I just wanted to clear stuff to keep all the brow in place and... Hey, I think it does a pretty damn good job. I know my eyebrows aren't exactly level because this one's naturally thicker than this one. Clothing! And I'm wearing one of their t-shirts too. It's Tea Fury. Now this isn't sponsored. I adore Tea Fury. It's so cheap and the shipping is so cheap. Uh, sometimes they have two t-shirts pitted against one another and those t-shirts are $11 each. And then shipping to the UK costs $4 and you don't get hammered by import tax or anything like that. So that's $15 for a t-shirt like this, which is so cool. And they come within like two, three weeks, depending on if you have to get them specially printed because they have gallery ones, which are $18, which is so pretty cheap. The next thing, just amazing, lint balls. 
I like lint balls and I cannot lie. Them other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with the itty bitty waist and everything in your face, you get. I'll stop. I'm like G with Ferrero Rocher, just with with the lint ball. Which brings me on to my next favourite. Is G Fletcher. I know, person, bit weird, isn't it? But my favourite person, <laughs> my favourite YouTuber actually at the moment is G Fletcher. Giovanna Fletcher is probably my favourite YouTuber at the moment, along with Tom actually. But that's more because all of the McFly boys are in Tom's. G is just amazing, and if you don't watch her vlogs, I really, really recommend you do. She's so awesome and just so lovely I, I love her i can't you if you hate g you need to reevaluate life because she's just so amazing i love her i can't say anything about her just watch her vlogs and you'll fall in love with her i think bit of a girl crush not gonna lie also her books are up there there you go g mcbusted is a favorite thing that happened in 2014 i went to the mcbusted tour in birmingham and i was kind of up in the heavens slightly and then because i kind of had a really really shitty seat um <laughs> i he was like let's go to hyde park well, hyde park was just probably one of the best concerts i've ever been to like standing in the rain with your best friends listening to music you love you just can't you can't beat that it was my next favorites are all upon my shelf the vinyl nation it's a toy story series too Oh my god, shut the fuck up! They didn't work. I was hoping it worked. But yeah, Vinylmation. I just think they're so cool. They're so cute. And I don't have a problem. Another thing I discovered. There's these little critters. These are called... I think they're called Sumsums. This is Chip and Dale, obviously. Uh, I love Chippendale, another little fact about me. You can stack them and they come in, like these are the smallest size and these are five dollars, four, four dollars? And they're just so cute. You know, what were your favorite things in 2014? They don't even have to be products, like they could be movies. Like my favorite movies were like Pride, that was an awesome movie, check it out. Guardians of the Galaxy, the Lego movie. Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of the team! Also... <laughs> that was a really rubbish whistle. What were your favourite products, TV shows, films, whatever? Favourite stuff of 2014? Write in the comments below. Uh, tweet them me, I don't know. But all my links will be below too. Uh, please check them out, it would mean a lot to me. Give me a good thumbing also would be very helpful. Maybe favourite this, share it with your friends, I don't know, and then maybe subscribe. Everything's down there now, so just just explore my, I was going to say downstairs area. It's not what I want. No. Why? So thank you very much for watching. <gasps> bye! I now have to walk really far because the camera's so far away, so bye!